Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I was still running Windows Vista, every once in a while, I would get some seemingly random crash uh, from COM surrogate. I didn't realize I had a surrogate. I thought this was, you know, my own PC. But apparently not. Actually, COM surrogate, uh, also known as DLL host, uh, is essentially, uh, with Windows, um, a way for a DLL, and we've talked about this before, dynamic link library, to load code on its own, run it, and give every other application on the system access to it. And that's, I guess, a rudimentary way of explaining it. Uh, but the error, like I said, was just seemingly random. Well, uh, this was a question that was submitted through uh, the, uh, the chat room. Someone else was asking about it, what it was, because they're getting the same error on Windows Vista. And the solutions that I found, at least the simplest solutions, uh, are twofold. One, uh, if you have DivX installed, the DivX codec, make sure you've updated to the latest version, and Nero apparently may have caused this issue in Windows Vista, at least older versions. They've allegedly fixed this in newer versions of the Nero program. And Nero, we've talked about as well. It's a, a great program for uh, burning disks. In fact, I have got Nero 8 Ultra Edition, and it does more now than bur just burning disks. Nero pretty much does everything media related. Uh, it really has become a multimedia suite, certainly is uh, continuing to grow by leaps and bounds. Uh, so if you're running into comm surrogate errors, uh, check to make sure that uh, those programs are up to date. Uh, I also, though, ran into the same issue on Windows XP. It had a comm surrogate crash, um, and I'd never really seen it before. Uh, so I went through, and what I did was I uninstalled all the known codecs from my system. I installed the, uh, earlier on apparently, the uh, Vista Codec Pack, I believe is what it was called, which is a, a free roundup of codecs that you can install. Uh, and a codec, we've talked about before, is something that allows you to uh, watch media that was encoded with certain software or listen to media, media in general, uh, codec, uh, it's short for code decode, I believe, memory serves. Um, so I went through and uninstalled the codex, and I haven't really run into that issue since then. So uh, it's likely tied into some kind of codec on your system, whether it's DivX, something tied into Nero, or whether you installed a codec mega pack uh, that may be throwing things off. You might want to check any one of those three things. Uh, there, if that doesn't work for you, at least inside of Vista, people are uh, recommending turning off uh, certain security features uh, to get around that particular error. I would be less inclined to point you that direction, so I'm not even going to suggest what you would need to do in that direction. But if you even now search for what is com surrogate in Google, uh, you'll find a handful of websites that will point you to the same advice uh, that you are certainly free and, and able to take at any point in the future. If anybody has any other specific fixes for this darn comm surrogate error, or maybe you have a clarification for what the comm surrogate is in relation to Windows, hopefully, like I said, I explained it in layman's terms or enough so that people aren't necessarily scared and know how to fix it, uh, leave a comment, follow up, or just send an email. We'd be happy to share it, especially if it's informative. Uh, and of course, you're also welcome to swing by our chat room anytime, day or night. Uh, we're typically talking about uh, all sorts of uh, wacky things, like I can't think of something wacky right now, so you're just going to have to come into the chat room and say something wacky. But be polite. We only like polite, wacky people. At live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.